in your email inboxes, hopefully yesterday um, and potentially this morning as well, some of you received an email from um, SET Conference. So just to show you what it looks like, um, it should, and just to note that they do disappear into inboxes, into junk folders. So if you can't see it in your um, inbox, please um, look in your junk folder. But this is what it should look like. So it should have come from SET Conference. And the subject title should be join the set conference and um, clicking on it then opens um, this this uh, format of a, of a joining instruction um, and there should be a button that says join the community. Which should take you to this space now. So if I so once you click on join the community, this is the screen that should open for you. Um, and this is a, a profile form. Um, so I've actually opened someone else's, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. Um, but as you'll see, um, some of your details will already be in um, the form because of the way that you registered for the conference. So what we've done is pulled that registration information across into the platform. So some of this will already be populated. But as you can see, there's quite a lot more um, to add in here. And um, once you do that, you'll click through, let me just do this quickly. Um, so you'll click through to this. And then the next field is the kind of really interesting one. So this is where, Marie, as you were saying, this is where um, you start to slightly filter your interest and what you'd like to talk about um, during the conference. Obviously, there's many more things, um, and we try to capture as many of them as we can. But basically, this is a bit like logging what your interests are, what you would like to chat about, what you would like people to be able to find you to talk about. So um, if, for example, I work on diaspora um, issues and I would love to connect, I'd love to find more people who are working on diaspora who are just interested in it or might be part of the diaspora, um, I would tick that one as well as many others um, and then I would move through. And this would mean that on my profile, that just shows up as one of my interests. So if people search for other people who are interested in diaspora work, um, they can find me, they'll see me there and that's a way for them to connect with me. And um, once you click through all of this, um, you end up at um, this website page, um, which as you'll see at the top is the step to below um, website page. And um, this brings you to a reception space, basically just, just uh, an opening area um, with an overview of the conference um, and a few sort of key um, pieces of information that will make more sense um, as you populate your um, platform. So the main um, features are kind of as follows and hopefully um, it's all clear and everyone can see the screen. Um, so the event feed, very much like the Facebook or LinkedIn um, feeds that you see, people are able to post updates, opportunities about volunteering, they might want to highlight a particular program that's done some work or share a resource. So that will be um, adding pieces to this um, throughout the days and hopefully starting conversations on there, asking questions to delegates um, and sharing surveys and things like this. But our community, those of you who are joining the platform, um, will also be able to um, add your thoughts to this, share any opportunities, program work, that kind of thing. So very much like a, a Facebook or a LinkedIn feed in that sense. And hopefully, um, it looks rather grey at the moment, but it will be alive with posts um, throughout the days. Um, the key thing, I think, is, is probably the agenda of the days. Um, so this sets out um, the agenda in more detail. Um, and following this call, and now, as some of you might already be on there, you have access to all of this. So you can really start to explore. You'll have to forgive us a little bit as some things are still being uploaded um, and, and slightly altered as the speakers change and move around. But in essence, um, the conference is, is captured here now. What this allows you to do is um, to read an overview of the session. So this is the welcoming keynote addresses for day one of the conference. It also allows you to have a look at the speakers that are speaking um, and you can um, click on them, but you can also view their profile so you can learn more about um, Navina um, if you'd like to ahead of her talk. 
The other thing you can do is I know many of you um, will be dropping in and out of the conference um, and also obviously attending other things at different times. Um, but you can add um, these sessions or individual sessions into your calendars, so into your work calendars or your personal calendars, just so you can keep track of when things are happening. So if you have to step away, it will give you a reminder that the keynote addresses are about to start if you'd like to catch them. So it's quite helpful, hopefully. Um, on the day of the um, conference, what will show up, and I'll show you this on another um, platform just because they've... Um, Added, they've made their things go live. So um, here you see this orange button that will show up on all of the um, sessions as they become live. And so if you want to join them, you'll simply click that button and you'll be taken to a place where you can either um, view the stream online. So um, on this one, um, you are viewing the speakers talking live to you. It looks like it's recorded, but it's not. It's just the way it's live streaming. And you'll be able to write your question and answers in the box here. And the chair will pick up on those and the chair will direct those to the speakers for you. And um, the other way that you'll join a session is actually just by clicking there and it will take you to a Zoom link like we're on today. Um, and that's for um, sessions which are a bit more interactive where they might put you in breakout rooms or actually ask for you to unmute yourself if you have any questions. So two different formats, but equally hopefully as straightforward, just the orange button and that will take you to um, the session and where that's happening. Um, the other um, part is the speakers. So again, you can review all of our speakers ahead of time. Um, you can star them if you'd like to um, sort of stay up to date with what they're doing. Um, you can also write a note to sort of say this, so he seems like a particularly interesting speaker. I'd have to say about that. Just, just keep, a bit like having a notebook with you, I suppose, just so you can keep that with you. And that's personal um, to you, so no one else can see um, those notes that you make. Um, you can search the speakers, so um, if you are looking for someone in particular, um, you can um, find them just through searching. And again, that brings up um, their biography, um, any Twitter links that they have if you want to tweet them or include them in a tweet that you're doing, and um, their uh, position um, and where they work as well. Um, so that's the speaker tab. Um, attendees is, uh, is yourselves, but also the FET team more generally, our sponsors and exhibitors, and our trustees and honorary advisors. So we've tried to group these um, just so they make a little bit of sense for those who are looking at for particular people. Um, and again, hopefully a very straightforward process. So if um, you are interested in um, perhaps uh, communications, um, you might type in communications here and press search, and that will bring up our communications officer, Summer, um, and you might want to have um, a chat with her. Again, very much like WhatsApp or Facebook, you can start a chat, send her a message. Um, obviously, it's up to her to reply, but hopefully she does. Um, the other way you could do it is you could have a more formal meeting. So if you just think, actually, I'd love 10 minutes um, to speak to Summer about something, let's see if she's got time. You can choose a day during the conference, so Thursday the 1st. Um, I'd like to talk in the afternoon and I've got some time at 1.30. Um, a simple like that, you type in what you want to discuss and you send the request. Um, is she accepted? It would show up in your meetings calendar, which I'll show you in a minute. And again, very much like Zoom, you would just click join and it would bring up um, a meeting um, uh, video. Uh, speakers, delegates, all exactly the same way connect with them, search for them, you're probably able to find your own um, as you go through them. Um, so sorry, I'm picking on Murray just because you asked the question earlier, but um, you can pick this up. And as you'll see, as you populate your um, profiles, the more information will be, will be available. So that's why that first stage is really key. And again, really nice if you're able to, if you feel comfortable and you're able to add pictures and it helps kind of associate everyone and, and add to the sort of hopefully the friendliness and openness um, of the conference. Quite a lot of our speakers have done so already, which is uh, really nice to see with their smiling faces. Um, in the lounge, uh, this is very much like that space for the coffee. So you, we know that we'd all walk out of a keynote, we'd head for the tea and coffee, um, and in doing so, we'd probably bump into someone that either we knew or we didn't know, and we'd just start up a conversation. So a slightly similar thing, but virtual this time round. So I've gone for a coffee. I've come back to my table. I feel like, oh, I could just have a chat with anyone. Um, I'd sit down. So I'd take this little seat at the table and I'd add myself to the table. 
And then I would wait and hope that someone else might come along and join me on my coffee break. Um, and when they do, what will happen is a, a chat will open up and we'll be able to turn on our videos if we want to and unmute ourselves and just have a conversation about maybe the keynote that just happened or about the weather, about the last time we ever left the country, something like that. But hopefully again, just to break up the day and the more formal sessions and, and, and to improve networking as well. And um, the other thing that we'll have here, as you can see, this one is set up with a, with a bit more of a, a structure to it. Um, so there will be tables that have a specific focus of them. So all of our country directors will be running country focused tables. So at different times of the day, um, you'll be able to join Zambia, you'll be able to join Eunice, our country director, take a seat at the table, and she'll be giving a quick sort of talk about what we're doing in Zambia, but then she'll also be um, hearing from some delegates who join the seat to hear what they're doing and see if there's any collaboration there. So again, very much like those coffee breaks where you bump into people, but you've just got to click a seat and, uh, and hopefully take a bit of a gamble on, on that. Um, the other thing is meeting. So as you'll see here, um, this is where you, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm going to speak. But if you were to organize a meeting, this is where it would show up. It's a bit like a diary schedule. So you could see that I've, um, I've uh, organized a meeting with Raquel for Thursday, um, and that's where it would be on a kind of calendar feed of things. Um, the other nice feature, which again, I'll go to this one because we haven't made ours live yet, are these rooms. Um, and this is a space where we have slightly more structured networking. So this is where um, particular exhibitors and um, sets will be holding a room. So a bit like a fireside chat. You'll join the room and there'll be small presentations, rather impromptu presentations on different themes. Um, the change exchange, for example, will be running a room every break time to talk about behaviour change and how they work with health partnerships. Um, we'll also be running a, a cinema room, a film room, where we'll be showing some of the films that we've worked on with key partners like Health Education England um, on a, a sort of on a reel. So if you um, can't face talking to anyone, you're not in the mood for it, but you'd love to see some of the work that that does with partners and, and watch um, hopefully some interesting and beautiful films, and you can head to the cinema room and take a seat there and enjoy your coffee while watching part of um, one of our short films. Um, the last bit is, um, oh, so we've done that. So the last bit is our exhibitors and our sponsors. Um, and as you'll see, um, they uh, very much like having a physical table, have a kind of a physical card. Um, if you click on them, this takes you to uh, their exhibitor space. Um, it gives you overview information about the organisation, all of their social links. If you want to head to their website, you just click here and that will take you to their website for more information. My internet. So, um, their basic contact details, so again, gives you an idea of where they're based, who their main contact is if you want to send them an email. Um, they're also adding other key features, so um, some uh, exhibitors have added videos about their work, which you can click on and bring up, um, and lovely photos about um, sort of illustrating how they've done some training and, and collaborative work here. Um, the other thing is, so if you want to meet them, there's basically sort of uh, exhibitors who are manning their tables, so to speak. So they are at the other end of this virtual table and um, waiting to talk to people, waiting for people to reach out to them and talk like they would as if they were wandering past the table. So you can choose to meet someone. I might really want to talk to Evelyn about what she's doing um, at Cambridge Global Partnerships. Maybe they've got some upcoming um, opportunities I could get involved in or um, I run a health partnership, but I'd love her thoughts on something. Again, very similar to before, I can choose a date um, during the conference and a time, and I can send a request to her. And if she accepts, that will show up in my meeting schedule. The other thing you can do is, again, just start a chat with someone, um, do an instant message. If you want that quicker response and you've just got a short question, that's a great way of talking with them. And the final thing you can do with sponsors and exhibitors is just to share your details. And that basically is like dropping your virtual business card on the table. So you don't need to have a meeting, you don't need to have a chat, but if you'd like them to know that you're interested in what they're doing, or you might like them to add um, you to their mailing list perhaps, um, you can literally just send your details to them and they get a little ping that says, um, Charlotte uh, has sent you her details, 
here's her bio, here's her email address. If you want to contact her, she, you know, she shared that with you, so you're able to do so. So that's easier if you're running out of time or again, you're kind of moving from place to place trying to get the most of it. That's a really quick way to just share um, that you're interested in what they're doing and that you'd like to hear more about their work. So now I've rambled for rather a long time, I'm going to pause and take a breath as well and uh, see if there are any questions or comments at this point. I realise that um, it, it's quite overwhelming, there's quite a lot to um, get to grips with, but hopefully it's a fairly intuitive um, set of, sort of pages in the system. Um, just to reiterate, we'll be sharing the recording, so all of this will be with you again to run through. And on each of the pages, you'll see this little question mark, this quick guide. And if you click on that, that gives you a really clear and quick sense of how to use the platform, how to use the different pages. So if you get there on the Thursday morning or, or the Monday morning, whenever you're joining us, um, and you can't quite remember what a particular page is supposed to be used for, this is a really good quick guide to, um, to explain all of that. And that's there all the time. So you can you can use that guide whenever you need it. Are there any um, questions or thoughts on any of that? Okay, I'm going to listen to another. This is the second running I've done of this this morning. It's the second load of silence. So again, I can see some smiles. So I'll take those as as an affirmation that it's been it's been okay and it's been helpful. Um, thank you, Pat Digger Peter. It sums up. <laughs> um, as Raquel said, if you haven't received the email, do let us know. Um, we'll sort of keep sending them out. So um, it might be that if you've registered um, really recently, that hasn't quite got to you, or again, it gets lost in your junk folder. So um, please have a scan of the junk, but do let us know if you if you can't find it, and we can send those links out to you again. Um, We'll share the recording with you um, following this, and we'll also kind of be emailing all delegates with the recording and a few other sort of top tips, hopefully, for the days. Um, but if there aren't any other questions or thoughts, I'll, um, I'll give you back half an hour of your day, which is what we all need at times like this, just when we spend it on Zoom. Um, and, uh, and just say thank you again for, for joining us, for your interest in the conference. Um, I hope that you um, can make the most of the platform. I hope that it seems a useful um, piece of, uh, of technology and a way of connecting. And, and I hope that you enjoy the days to come. <laughs>